Hey, what is up, fans? This is your boy, Paul BGNZ. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have gotten so much better with Blender 2.8 through the past week. So I'm making a tutorial video also for my friend and myself because once in a while, I'll probably take a break from doing Blender. So long story short, I made a commercial. It was not like a real commercial. It's an independent film commercial. It was about sunglasses that's gonna help people remember things by reading a book. Sunglasses called Crystal Sight. And that's the name of the independent commercial. So let's get right into it. I want to do like a fast tutorial. If this is your first time watching my video, check out my other video that I made for Blender about sculpting a character. And this is the second video I'm making on how to make a really cool realistic sunglasses display. But this is just for, uh, just in case if I ever forget how to make this. And maybe for other people out there that want to know how to make a sunglasses. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to press A. It's going to select all and then I'm going to press X and then delete everything. That way I can have like a nice full clean collection with nothing in it. Now I'm going to hold down shift and then press A. And then bring out my mesh plane. And then we're going to go to objects. We're going to go to X rotation and then change it to 90. If it looks like it's not facing you, press the bracket key next to the one keypad and then go to front view. And then now we're gonna go to edit mode, pressing tab. And then we're gonna hold control and then press R. And then it's gonna bring out a line. Double click twice. So that way it'll stay there. Since this is a plane, we don't need the show x-ray, but I'll just put it on anyways. I'm gonna select the left vertices and then I'm gonna press X to, to delete vertices. And then go back to object mode. And then after that, we're going to go to a modifier. It looks like a wrench modifiers. And then we're going to go to add modifier uh, mirror. Add mirror. Make sure the clipping is checked. Now we're going to go back to edit mode. And then we're going to go control R again to make another line in there. And have it in the center. This is the front view of the sunglasses. I'm going to bring this vertices down by pressing G and Z. And then the bottom part is going to be where the nose is area, so G and then Z again. And then bring this down a little bit more. So now we have the nose where the nose area is going to go to. Maybe I should probably bring this up a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. And then we're going to select our uh, right side, press E to extrude and X. And then we're going to bring it out like this, maybe this far. Let's bring it out a little bit more. Now I want to go to the overhead view, um, press the bracket key and then go on top on the right side vertices, E, and bring it out maybe right there. And then we're going to press extrude again and then Y so that we can make a nice straight line all the way to maybe six inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I, get, I guess it's seven inches, but that's fine. So now we have our sunglasses, but it's not exactly, doesn't look like sunglasses yet. So we're going to fix that. I'm going to put some lines in the middle using the control all or key again and then press three and then double click it because I want to bring this up and then press G's and Z and that way we have our sunglasses looking like sunglasses. And this needs to go up a little bit too as well. Making sure the lines look pretty good. And we're going to do the same thing over here by control R and then let's say five lines. So that way we can select the bottom part right over here. Then bring them up G and Z. So now it looks like sunglasses now. Let's add this a little bit up too as well. Just a little bit. And then let's go back to object mode and we're going to apply our mirror. And then now we're going to add solidify. We're going to make it thicker. So let's make it thicker and maybe 0.15 looks good. And let's go back to add modifier and add subdivision surface. That's going to smooth it all out and it looks like a real actual sunglasses. And then let's put um, maybe three and then viewport maybe three as well. Uh, now we're going to apply it now, apply it for the subdivision, also the thickness. Now it's already starting to look like sunglasses, just a little bit. But now we're going to need to go to sculpting. So the reason why I'm in sculpting is I want to make it look just a little bit like sunglasses on the back part right here. Let's use the grab tool here 
press F to make our brush tool to go a little bit bigger and let's bring just like that oval that shape just like slightly okay so now it looks like perfect sunglasses slightly perfect but not too perfect and do it from the back from right here and Can you see the front view? So one more little bit to add. So I want to try to get this pushed out a little bit more. I'll just use the drawing tool and just hold down the control key and push it out slightly. It makes a little bit of a nice bevel shape there. Let me just smooth it out with smooth pattern right here. So it doesn't look too bad. All right, so there you have it. So now we're gonna make the textures of the sunglasses. Go back to layout, have your sunglasses selected, and then go to material, and then new material, and then go to the surface, and then change to glass. Press down Z and look. So we can see the results going on just a little bit. Go to object mode, shade smooth, so it looks a little bit more smoother. It looks like it's full glass, but we can fix that. Press tab, go to editing mode, Press the bracket key, go to left side. You can go to the right side if you want. Make sure this x-ray is on. And then select the right side. Press three, so we can have our faces on instead. Once that's selected, we're gonna have our solid part. And the best way we're gonna have our solid part, let's add another material. Let's name this material glass. And then add another material. Press new, keep all this highlighted. And uh, let's make it dark and then maybe a little bit of brown. Okay, and then I was just going to name it solid. Assign it. Now, now we have our sunglasses. Press tab, we'll go back to object mode. It doesn't look like sunglasses. It looks like actual glasses. So we're going to change that and fix that up. So let's go back to glass and change the color. Maybe a little bit darker. Now it looks like actual sunglasses. I want to move it up a little bit more so that way we can have our display. Press G, Z over the red line. Hold down shift and then press A. Let's bring our, let's see, um, a cylinder. And then press S to make it more, more bigger. And then we're going to have to bring it down. Press G, Z to bring it down. So this is going to be our display. I can't even tell, so let's see the bracket key, right side, and then press G and then Y, so we can just put it right there in the middle. And then press tab to go to the editing mode again, press 1, so we can have our vertices. Um, let's go to the front view, so the cylinder is going to be a little bit more taller. Uh, bring it down, G and Z, bring it down a little bit more, can't see a little bit. Okay, let's bring it down from right here. Probably from right there. And then let's make a room around here too as well. So hold down shift, A, and then let's put the plane in there. And then press G, Z. Bring it down from right there somewhere. Can't tell. Let's see. Just right underneath the display. Press S to make it bigger. Press tab for edit mode. Press 2 so that way we can select the right side here. Uh, let's select two of them. So we can have our corner right here. And then uh, press E to extrude, Z to bring it up. So now we got our room. And then let's go back to object mode again. And let's make the display glossy. So select your display. Go to your material, add a new material. I was just going to make it glossy. And then change the color. I'm just going to make it light blue color. So now we're going to select our room and then add new material as well. I'm going to make it a little bit. Uh, probably blue, it's like light blue, and then select the floor. I'm going to make a different color, so I have to go to editing mode, press 3 so that way we can select our faces and add new material. This is going to be for the floor, and let's make the floor maybe a little bit of purple and then assign it. And then let's make it a little bit metallic so that way it looks more shiny. And you'll see how shiny it will start looking like. Press Z and then render. It's not going to look realistic just yet because EV. I mean, if you go to cycles, but we're not going to go there yet because we're going to add some lighting around here. And let's bring out our camera. And then let's go to object, 
And let's have uh, the camera be 90. I'm gonna put everything on zero for right now and then have the rotation on 90 because so that way if I toggle camera from up here, I'll be able to see everything. Well, I can't see everything right now until I go to the Y location. And just to make it easier, I'll just use this controls right here. It looks a little bit too close to the camera, so I'm gonna bring it out a little bit more over here and then bring it up. I think that looks good for right there. Now let's add some lighting. Hold down shift, press A. Let's bring out our points here. And just to make it easier to move things around, we can just use this instead. Instead of using the keys, I just want to put a reflection. Let's bring out the sun as well. Uh, shift A and then get the sun. Put that right behind the camera. And then just mess around with the rotations a little bit. You can see the shadows right now. I think that looks good enough. Let's go to render and change our render engine to from EV to cycles. It's going to make everything look very realistic. So I'm going to make this light uh, right in front of our sunglasses. It doesn't bring out the reflections that well. And then just make it a little bit more stronger. Let's make it a 55. But let's put some more pointers in there. I'm going to select this pointer, Shift D to multiply it. So you can see the reflections right there. And let's change color. Somewhere like between blue or purple. So it looks pretty good. And then have this light have different color going on. So it looks something like that. I guess that looks great the way it is. And then if you guys want to play around with it like I just did, I'm not going to put any more details just for the sake of beginners out there that's probably watching this and get very confusing. So that's my display. I'm going to probably maybe fix it a little bit more, but this is the end of my tutorial. I just wanted to make this tutorial as short as possible so that way you guys can get how to make sunglasses. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys liked it. Take care. See you next time. Peace.